Hey, how's it going everyone? Sarasota Tim. Got the longboard out today here at Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota. Just came from the car wash. Got the Forerunner looking good. I wanted to point out something that a subscriber told me in a comment that if you have these decorative D hooks right here. Oh, let me get down here. I'm getting old. He said, I may want to consider being recovered from these points as this is actually a tie down hook for the truck when they ship them and so these are just a place maybe to store them and being decorative so somebody out there might know more than me if this is a solid point right here oh my fingers in the way sorry about that let me get over here you know is this he said you might lose your bumper I don't know. Here they are. Here's another one to look at. It's pretty solid to me, right on the frame there. I wouldn't be afraid to probably pull it, but I guess you'd probably use the uh, the axle there, whatever you call it, somewhere. But anyway, in case you guys have got these, be weary before someone snatches you with a snatch rope or a chain out of a big mud hole or a creek. <laughs> So, you probably will never have to be towed anyway. It's a forerunner, right? Look at this thing. I got 22,700 miles, guys. And if those miles could talk, it's been across country already from Sarasota to Utah three times this year. And it's traversed Hell's Revenge and came out without a scratch. Well, I lied. I got my, uh, my memories right here. My tailpipe tip. Look, nice little gash right there. But the actual pipe only comes to here, I think. So that's the only reason that touched. Also, scrape this. If I didn't have this in, I doubt this would have even have touched anywhere. Got another D hook there. And uh, this is 22,000 miles. Got the uh, problem here. My next thing I gotta do is remove my TRD poser decal on my SR5 here. The car wash, if it does anything to my vehicle, it peels up the, look, how tacky. Sarasota Tim, you can't have that. The Red Roadrunner's gotta look perfect. So I got another one already at home. They sent me two when I bought that. I'll have to peel that off, get my little step ladder thing I bought at Harbor Freight that I use when I travel, put that right there. Get up there with some alcohol and a tweezers or whatever I got to do. But check it out. 2021 SR5 Premium with the sunroof. TRD Heritage Grill. Aftermarket. Not from Toyota. Same damn thing. Beautiful running boards with the chrome all the way down. Additional chrome covered handles. Badging. The handles on the 2021, you know, you put your hand in and the door unlocks. I've already unlocked it, so it's not doing it. And you touch it like this and it locks, but these covers uh, remove the sensitivity. So that no longer works. I have to use my key fob to unlock, I mean to uh, lock. But uh, I just walk up and do this and it unlocks. Got HID, I mean LED headlights. Got the uh, Raptor amber lights in the front. KO2 tires with 22,000 miles. Take a look, guys. I run 47 pounds PSI. If you go to tire, tirerack.com or tire, tiresomething.com, it tells you to put in the size tire your car came with, what the door jam says for those factory tires, which is on the other door and put in the tire you bought the size the load range and it'll tell you the proper psi because that's really kind of a mystery when you change these tires out on our trucks you're like what tire pressure you do not use what it says in the door jam when you put it on a different aftermarket tire you got to put in a different uh psi so happens to be 47 pounds for the stock size 
um, KO2s. I went with a stock size. Forgot to leave my trash in the trash can when I went out this morning. So I gotta remember to stop at the dumpster when I get back. Went to Walmart, got some water. Beautiful truck, beautiful. Load that up there with those uh, Plano, Plano uh, totes that I bought. Tie it down with a trucker's hitch. Load up the back with my bed, my Dometic uh, refrigerator with the uh, Jackery battery to run me for days. Plus it's got 110 volt full AC power switch in the back. We all know about that. What a vehicle. What a vehicle. And look, they've always been worth money, but 2021, I could sell this for more than I paid for it. Paid $43,000. I know there's people chomping at the bit to buy any 4Runner for $43,000. Just, you know, not a year or two old. More than that. All right, guys, that's enough. I can't take it.